Yo, what's up, with y'all? It's JD, and I'm back with another quick video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over a little bit of dietary information and also just sharing with you guys that right now I'm in the middle, or actually I'm just starting a cut. And this is not typically something that I usually do. I usually try to stay fairly lean year-round, but I'm adapting to a new environment. I've been out here in Brazil for about two weeks now, and I've been eating out almost every single day. Uh, I've been drinking a lot more alcohol than I typically do, and I've been indulging in sweets here and there as well. So my body fat percentage is a little bit up right now. Um, I've still been training pretty consistently, so I still have a good amount of muscle on me, but right now I'm starting the process to kind of scale things back in terms of eating out and trying to get a little bit more discipline in terms of our food. So today is pretty much the day one on cutting. And I'm gonna share with you guys a few of my techniques on how to lose weight and lose body fat in general. This is gonna be my first meal of the day. A pretty big portion of oatmeal. I have a bunch of mango and banana in there. So this is gonna be meal number one. And uh, this is probably gonna hold me off for a while today. And I'm gonna actually end up going and getting a workout in down at the beach in a little bit. So workout number one and meal number one, I'm gonna bring the gymnastics rings down there as well. But one thing I wanna kind of hone in on is my cardio. And that's something I've actually haven't been doing enough of as well since I've been out here. And anytime you're gonna wanna do a cutting process, losing body fat process, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're burning a sufficient amount of calories. There's multiple different ways you can do that. You can go walking, you can go running, you can, when you're doing your, your workouts, maybe your calisthenics workouts, make it a little bit more high intensity, add some plyometrics, high intensity cardio, uh, plenty of different options. But right now, I just wanted to start off showing you guys first meal of the day, and I'm gonna run you guys through all my meals today, which is probably only gonna be maybe two or three max.
my last meal a little bit later than I anticipated. But the meal is uh, Brazilian feijoada, which is basically like meat, beans, um, and rice. And then I also have uh, veggies on the side. Purple uh, cabbage, broccoli, uh, eggplant, and beets. So this is, the feijoada part is not necessarily super clean, but it's just leftovers from some food out when we had went out to eat. So I'm really just more so concerned about incorporating the vegetables in there. And one thing that I think is extremely important when it comes down to cutting or just trying to lower your body fat in general is not always walking around with excess food inside of you. And what I mean by that is you want to eat foods that are going to flow through you. You're going to eat foods that are going to, you know, help your metabolism speed up. So, you know, you're going to use the restroom more often than not. You know what I mean? You don't want to be going through a week and some days you're not even using the bathroom or some days that you, you know, might use the bathroom, you know, only one time. Like, we honestly, we really should be using the restroom like three times per day, you know, minimum. So you want to be incorporating fruits and vegetables. That's going to be the, the foods that's going to get that food flowing through your system. So you're not just completely bloated and like, you know, backed up the whole time. And also those are going to be foods that are going to help you get more energy. So when you're not feeling super heavy and super bloated, you're going to be able to have more energy to go work out, get your cardio in, get a high intensity workout in. Earlier today, uh, as you've probably seen in the video, I put some clips of me doing some calisthenics, a ring workout. So another thing is, is when I'm trying to get back into peak shape, I usually just start with the basics. Go hard on the basics, get a good workout in, maybe work out an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes a day. First thing when you wake up in the morning, do something. Squats, push-ups, something like that. Later on today, I might go get a little bit of jump rope session in. Let this food settle for a couple hours and maybe go to the rooftop and do about 20, 30 minutes of cardio with the jump rope. Not really feeling the run today. But anyways, that's my day's eating. That's a full day's eating for me. Uh, earlier today, also, one other thing is that you're not ever going to have a perfect diet. And earlier, you know, we were on our way back from the beach. Me and my girls on the way back from the beach. And I wanted to try these uh, fried tapioca things that have like cheese inside of them. It's something that I've had in Brazil a few times and I really enjoyed that dish and I wanted her to try it. So even when you're on a cut, even when you're trying to eat as clean as possible, you still have to live your life and you still have to have a little balance. That's my philosophy. Some people's philosophy is just go super hard and eat completely strict and it doesn't have anything to do with taste. For me, I like to enjoy my life. I'm out here in Brazil. Sometimes you want to try some different foods. You can do that as well. If you guys are interested in more diet information, if you guys are interested in more calisthenics information, you guys can hit my website. That's travelsthenics.com. Book a free consultation with me today. We can talk about how to get in the best shape using calisthenics and also what diet and eating strategies might work for you. But anyways, guys, hope everybody's having a great day out there. I'll highlight you guys later. Peace.